Brother Blake and I are fixing to head out on our first road trip of the year, and, and we're ready to go. Of course, Miss Charlie, you ain't going to forget her, <laughs> whether you want to or not. She's a, she's ready. Um, but anyway, talking about what all we take with us, and you know, we always take too much junk, but I'm a firm believer that it's better to have and not need than need and not have. So um, on this side, we've got gloves, got an extra bumper, stop to get gas or whatever and there your dog it keeps her attention on doing something she's not pilfering around gloves we got antiseptic wipes we got dog leads we got flashlights we got spot and scope um tripod for the spot and scope first aid kit batteries those come in handy whenever you may need them um more batteries, wild ears, toolbox, paper towels, just general things that during the course of a duck season you need. You, you never know when you need it, but you're going to need it at time. Um, hang, uh, keep my dog collar here. That way when I'm <clears throat> getting her out of the truck in the morning, I put the collar on and we're good to go. Of course, you keep a couple of Yeti cups. Make sure we ain't hung up no more. Yeah, we're good there. This side, this is the fun side here. This side goes bang. So I keep four Super X4s, um, two 20s, two 12s, all the ammo, neck gaiters. It's a good place to keep your neck gaiters and a couple extra calls there. You never know when you run on to somebody you might want to offer a favor to. That sucker is handy. It'll stay loaded up all duck season. You lock everything up and lock the tailgate. It's hard to get stuff out of there. Um, of course, the back of the truck, which you can see, we've got a couple of Yeti go, loadout go boxes, um, boot bags, tools, cameras, um, another big box. We keep extra. I keep extra coats and boots and stuff in this big box. This uh, Yeti Camino bag is what I keep my waders in. It's a great way to store your waders. Um, this side over here, you can't see it, but we got the zombie killer kit. I'm not going to dig it out, but the zombie killer kit consists of a big pair of loppers, axe, machete, a couple knives. Um, if you got to get somewhere and build a blind or brush a blind, there's tools and equipment right there to get it done with. Uh, now you get into the back seat here. <clears throat> We're loaded up. Got a couple extra jackets hanging up here. Camera equipment, backpack with uh, computer junk, chargers, all that kind of stuff. Um, extra parts. We're going to pick up Matt Barnett, so he left it to work. He's got one seat over there. Um, for this trip, because of the corona, um, we went, my wife went and got us a bunch of groceries, so we got a box full of snacks, we got lunch meat, we got bread, we got roll-ups. All we gotta do is stop and get gas. We can stop and get a pic have us a picnic lunch anywhere we want to. Um, that's pretty much the truck. Moving on, whether we're gonna do a water hunt or not, always pull the express boat with me um, to call stuff. We got extra decoys, we got four panels for panel blind, blind stools. This is the ghillie bag. We keep stuff in there to hide cameras, cameramen. Uh, there's a flat of water. Yeti panga bag. This is burlap and camouflage material again. We spend lots of time hiding, trying to hide cameras and cameramen and blinds. Uh, highly recommended you uh, it doesn't matter how much it rains or snows, you put your stuff in that panga bag, it'll stay dry. Moving around, kind of a cool new product just coming out from our buddies at Gunner Kennels is, uh, is this food box, food crate. It'll hold 50 pounds of dry dog food. It's watertight, airtight. You put your food in there, your bowl, everything you need, and it's good. And I love it because in the past I've put stuff in bags. I've tried to put in different things. This is a great addition to the Gunner lineup. Um, 
couple of Yeti coolers, we'll get drinks and we'll ice down our groceries. Of course, another panga bag for clothes. The Tanga Free Deluxe Slotted Decoy Bags are wonderful traveling. Uh, we've got decoys we've hunted for three, four, three or four years that is in really good shape because we keep them in these bags and zip them up. Um, a lot of guys using closed trailers, and of course, they stay good too. Um, which brings us back to where we started. Miss Charlie looks very comfortable in her kennel. Oh, you're going to come say hello. Hi, Charlie. You need to go outside. Mm -hmm. One more round because he's fixing to be riding back here for a little while. 